We have three boys. We're a praying family, by the way. My wife and I, we believe in the power of prayer. So when we were going to have children, we prayed for patience, tolerance, love, and understanding, four virtues that we feel are God-given. God has his own way of answering prayers. <laughs> we didn't get one ADHD child. Two, and it looks like we're up to three in a row. <laughs> found out our oldest, who's 20 years old now, found out he was hyperactive when the kindergarten called to tell us he was hyper. Like we didn't know. Is there a parent of a hyper kid here that gets a call? Your son's hyper. No! He's so calm at home. First day we dropped him off at kindergarten, it was all we could do to keep from laughing. Some perky woman came over. We'll have so much fun. I'm sure you will. <laughs> we're, gonna go, we're gonna go pick up an answering machine. We'll see you later. I don't know why, but I felt I'd be screening calls between eight and three for the rest of my life. Principal calls me at home. He goes, your boy won't sit in his chair. He's disrupting the class. We don't know what to do. Oh, open the back door and let him loose. That's what we do at home. Come back when he's tired, he always does. Check his hair for ticks, he crawls through the shrubbery. <laughs> Kindergarten, what's he gonna miss? Coloring? He'll catch up. <laughs> ADHD, attention deficit hyperactive disorder. I like that, it's polite. 40 years ago when I was bouncing off the grade school walls, they didn't have a name for it, did they? I was OLP, obnoxious little punk, that's what they called me. <laughs> Teachers would drag me out in the hall and slam me against lockers. I had one teacher headbutt me. <laughs> Miss Stokesbury, I'll never forget it. She said, I hate you, bam! She'd shake me in her, she was overweight, her cheeks would vibrate like jello. You're hyper, all I could focus on was the vibrating cheeks. <laughs> Laugh at me, you little punk! Stop shaking jello cheeks. My favorite teacher, Mr. Greganis, this is how he dealt with my hyperactivity problem. He came to me and goes, you know what your problem is? I always love that too when you're eight or nine years old. Don't you love it when an adult looks at a nine-year-old boy and goes, you know what your problem is? Just once I want to hear the nine-year-old go, oh, enlighten me. <laughs> I've been wondering. So he goes, you know what your problem is? You don't know how to focus. He goes, you gotta focus. <laughs> I'm nine years old going like this. He goes, yeah, just like that, you gotta focus. That was our salute for an entire school year. I'd act up in class, he'd go, Jeff, I'd go. <laughs> and he'd say, that's right, he'd salute me. You'd think that's odd, but I'll tell you what, I had 12 years of public school. Couldn't tell you when this country was founded. I need to make a three-foot putt 